Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And like the title of the video suggests, uh, in this video we are going to talk about network policies in Kubernetes, right? Uh, so if you know, if you've worked with Kubernetes, you know that there's no way to actually control the flow of traffic at IP and port level by default in Kubernetes, right? So you need some kind of mechanism to do that. And network policies are that mechanism. And it is provided by Kubernetes. Uh, and the only prerequisite is that you should have some network plugin which supports network policies uh, running, right? So not all network plugins uh, support network policies uh, like Flannel. So Flannel does not support network policies. So if you're running Flannel, you will not be able to control the flow of traffic uh, using network policies, right? And by control the flow of traffic, I mean, so <clears throat> uh, in Kubernetes, you, if you don't know, uh, all the pods can talk to each other uh, using their IP address, right? So, and, and that is not the desired mm -hmm. behavior. So say, for example, you have, uh, say, a three layer application deployed in plugin, uh, deployed in Kubernetes. Say so you have a web layer, you have an application layer, and you have a database layer, right? So your application layer talks to your database layer, which is fine, uh, agreed upon, right? But if you don't have network policies, your web layer can also talk to your database layer if you don't implement network policies and which is not desired. There's no uh, need for your web layer to talk to your database layer, right? So that that's what you can do uh, using network policies. And this is what I'm going to show you in this video, right? So I have a mini cube setup. Uh, I didn't want to go into the trouble of launching a Kubernetes cluster that takes a lot of time. And just to show the examples, uh, mini cube cluster is sufficient enough. So let me see what we have. kubectl get nodes. So I have a single node mini cube cluster running on my local system. And I've also created a couple of pods, uh, pod one, pod two, and a debug pod, right? So since right now I don't have any network policies implemented, so I can do kubectl exec. And debug pod is actually a busy box image, right? And I can do something like ping or first let me kubectl get pods, get the wide view of this just so that I can get the IP addresses. Yeah, this is better. And now I can do kubectl exec debug. And I'll ping pod one, which is 10.244.0.28. All right, the ping is going, cancel it. And now let's try and ping pod two, which is 235. All right, so I'm able to ping both the pods from debug pod, right? Uh, okay, so let's start with implementing a default deny policy uh, so that nobody can talk to nobody right let's do that so i actually have a file here called net poll one and i'll just show you the content so you can see what i'm doing is so the name of this policy is default deny right and in pod selector i've just given two curly braces this is that this means basically that you're going to put this policy on all the pods, right? So I'm not selecting any pod. I'm not matching any labels, you can see. And the type of policy is ingress. So I'm blocking all the ingress traffic, right? So let me just apply this kubectl apply and netpol1.yaml. Okay, so you can see it's created. You can just do a kubectl get on network policies and you can see you have a default deny ingress created eight seconds ago and now if i go back to the command so let me first ping my pod 2 you can see the pings are not going and similarly if i just look for pod 1 you can see the pings are not going so the traffic is blocked the ingress traffic on pod 1 and pod 2 is blocked because we have implemented a default deny right Cool, so moving on, uh, first let's get rid of default deny, kubectl, uh, delete, network policy, default deny, we don't want this. Okay, let me clear the screen. Now I have another policy over here called netpol2, and this is my test network policy. Uh, 
it is going to be in a default namespace, right? And here I'm implementing or I'm applying this policy on the pods which have this particular label, right? Main pod. And the policy type is ingress. This should be ingress. I think by mistake, egress is also there. And what it's doing is that it is going to allow traffic from the pod which is labeled as debug, right? So let me first edit this and correct this so that we don't go into any errors. Let's get rid of this. So yeah, so this is the policy, but we don't have any pods which are labeled right. So let's start labeling our pods. So kubectl label, and we are going to put this policy on say pod one. And the label would be role equals main pod. Oh, sorry. Label pod and pod. Okay. So I have labeled pod one with the main pod uh, label and I'm going to label my debug pod as well. So kubectl label pod <coughs> debug and I'm going to put role as debug, right? And that's it. So now, and I'm going to also let's label our pod 2 as well kubectl label pod pod 2 and let's put a label as uh, random pod right so I've labeled all three of my pods now uh, let's see if kubectl exec Debug. If I'm able to ping pod one, so let me just get the IP of pod one, which is this. You can see I'm able to reach out to pod one, right? Which is fine because my debug pod is labeled as debug and my pod one, which is labeled as main pod. So this is completely fine. This is working, right? Let's see if I'm able to, since we have not implemented any network policy on pod two, this should probably not work or this should probably work for pod two as well. Yeah, this should work because we have not implemented any policy, but we're going to implement that policy uh, in the next command. So what was the IP of pod two is this? And this should probably go through yeah this should go through right so now I'm going to put a policy uh, on pod 2 <coughs> right and then this ping should be disabled so what I'm going to do is let me just do a kubectl get pods so just to see the labels right so we have a label called random pod on pod two, and we are going to implement our netpol two. So I'm just going to edit netpol two, and this time I'm going to put this policy on random pod. And let's say I'll match this with debug pod, right? So we don't have any pod with debug pod uh, label, right? So, and now let's kubectl apply f netpod two dot yam. So you can see we have implemented and if I try to do this, you can see the traffic is blocked. But 
if so how to allow this right so let me just do a cat on net for two and the role or the label which we are looking for is debug for so let's apply this label kubectl label pod debug pod and role equals debug pod okay so role value is already taken so we can delete the label Override. So we can just override it. Let's override. Override. So if I do kubectl get pods show labels. So you can see now my debug pod has a role of debug pod. And let me clear the screen. And if I run this command. You can see the pings are going but now the pings for pod 1 which is 28 I believe right okay so they are still okay so yeah so there's no network policy on pod 1 so this should be going right cool because if you see the name of network pod 2 right so I, I didn't change the name, right? So automatically the network policy on pod one got uh, removed, right? And now the only policy which is there is applied to pod two. A little bit confusing, but uh, it, it makes sense, right? All right. So this is how you can actually control the flow of traffic using uh, say labels, right? So, but network policies don't only allow the use of labels, right? So I actually have a policy over here, net pole three. So I'll just cat this out, right? And you can see that <coughs> you can implement uh, network policies based on the IP address, right? Based on the namespace selector and also on specific port. So if I'm not specifying any port, it's blocking all the ports, right? So suppose if I just want to block say port 22 or port 80 or port 443, I can provide the port numbers as well. So I don't need to block all the traffic. I can block or allow uh, specific ports, right? Similarly, for the namespace selector, you can actually allow traffic from a particular namespace. And within this also, if I just, let me just go inside and port three. And within this, also so suppose in the namespace selector so you have say project my project is a namespace you have a namespace with the name of my project and within that you have say uh, pods which are labeled as uh, say uh, application pods right so you can actually have pod selector over here right and then you can do match labels and the stuff right and then you can match the label say for role equal application pod so you can actually do that and kubernetes or the network policies will act, evaluate all the conditions right so they'll allow the traffic so you can see there's from so it is going to allow there's also an egress and the same concept you can implement on egress just that it's from from it becomes two right so the from becomes two and then you can say allow traffic from this ip block and then you have accept block also so you can block traffic so you can allow traffic from this range but block from this range right similarly you can allow traffic from the namespace particular namespace and within that namespace also if you have say particular kind of pods you can also select those pods and then the port which which i told you like you can allow a block traffic to a particular port instead of blocking all the ports which uh, a network policy does by default right so that's that's what network policies do so i hope you got a little high level uh, knowledge about how network policies operate right and 
like I told you, the only prerequisite is that you should be running a CNI plugin and that plugin should be supporting network policies. Flannel does not support it. I, I actually tested it, right? I ran a Kubernetes cluster with Flannel and network policies were not working. Uh, here, this, uh, this mini cube cluster, I think it's running Cilium. So Cilium supports it. Calico supports it. Canal supports it. Uh, Weave, I think Weave also supports network policies. So most of the major CNIs, they support network policies. Flannel, mostly people I don't see using Flannel these days. It was very popular earlier, but now people don't use Flannel. So Flannel does not support network policy. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, that's, that's all pretty much I had. I mean, you can just take this concept and implement same thing for egress as well. The policy type becomes egress. You have an egress keyword and the from becomes two and the rest of the thing remain the same, right? That that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video. Uh, I hope you like the video. If you have any confusion, this is a little bit confusing topic network policies. So if you have any confusion, any questions, just put down in the comments and I'll be happy to help you. I'll be happy to guide you. Right. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video. I hope you like the videos guys. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.